Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. Miss Red is here with more sales. I think you've got some more Wednesday sales for us. Is that mm -hmm. what you were saying? Oh, well, I was just saying I just want to make sure that the, the viewers got those Wednesday specials correct. And also, my friends tell me those truckload sales are every day, all the time. Don't worry about them. You can get them for that deal every oh, day. Oh, nice. Okay? So, make sure that you remember today you have two, two, two sumakas in town. Have eggs four for five, okay? Then you have your drumettes or your wingets. You have those on sale, the $25 back for $19.99 today. Again, we said the rotisserie chickens, we have them on sale. Of course, you know that tuba beef is on sale, okay? But you can get it every day at IGA uh, for $18, $19, the same tuba beef that you get on Wednesday special. So if you're having a barbecue, something with the kids, baseball, you go for it. Also, we have our steaks, our T-bone steaks that are $4.99 a pound. That's an everyday special. But you want to make sure today, the deal of the day is your eggs to mm -hmm. supermarkets. Go get them. They always have a limit of four, okay? You have children. Now, if you buy, I got a question about this, because you always talk about these Wednesday specials, and you're always talking about the rain checks. So if they have three eggs left, can you get a rain check for just one? Well, How does that work? Well, the limit is four. And if there's only three left, and I guess that you mean there's no more eggs, so mm -hmm. if they're out of everything, that's when you get your rain check. Okay. Okay, and some stores, they put a month date on it. Other stores... It's unlimited. It's good whenever. Uh, un unlimited. You can save it when church is having something, make those cakes, what you need to do. But you know, they're wonderful to have, okay, you know, for sure. Know. Uh huh. But that's good, like I said. And then you have your bogle specials on your salads. You got your blueberries that are going on. You got your cantaloupes that are going on. Wonderful, wonderful uh, zucchini, uh, zucchini and the yellow squash. All those in-season fruits and they're vegetables. On, on sale. So there's some wonderful things going on with the local farmers. They're really working with the local farmers, which is really wonderful. Sounds good. I'm good. You might not know the answer to this question. I'm a huge fan of avoc avocados, and we're getting into avocado season, so I'm hoping they're going to go down in price. But how can you freeze avocados? I wouldn't freeze them. No? I, I wouldn't okay. freeze them because, first of all, when you get them, you pick them up and you feel them just a little bit to mm -hmm. see if they're mushy. Now, they're at that stage for you to chop them and put them in your guac guacamoles, your salads, or whatever you right. need to do. I don't think that they will, I will hold up. You, says, you can go Google it, you can research it, but I think it would be a little bit more mushier unless you pureed it in that okay. form, added a little water to it or a little olive oil to it, something else additive and to it. And then freeze it? You know what I'm saying? Don't okay. do it that way because it'll probably crystallize. But add a little olive oil to it if you're going to you know, uh, save it for a little bit. And if you have one of those machines, those food saving machines, mm -hmm. if you can pull the air out of it, those will be good. That's good. That's I good. In one of those. Mm -hmm. those. Oh, I love those things. I really do love those things. So, but that's what you like to do when we're coming into peach season now. You have the peaches that are 99 mm -hmm. cents a pound. You know, you love to.